Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. My name is Jess and I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you subscribe if you're new. If you're not new and you're already subscribed, welcome back. You guys are the best. Okay, so it is like 11 o'clock. I'm just now starting the vlog, but we got up this morning. Of course, got the kids to school. Um, me and David drank some coffee together, which we tried the Aldi white chocolate coffee, flavored coffee. It was really good. Um, I had several cups <laughs> and several cups of it because I didn't sleep that great last night. Mark was up a good bit in the night. I don't know what's going on. And I, I don't know what I did to my back. I like tweaked it or something. Uh, last night before we went to bed, I was like, my back hurts. And like all night, I just could not find a comfortable spot. So I needed all the caffeine this morning. Nate slept great. So that's good. Um, then David, before he left for work, ran Layla by the vet. She had a quick checkup appointment this morning. She's not due for her annual yet, but she's had a lot of like allergy symptoms, like really rashy, itchy, just uncomfortable kind of feeling. And she gets like this every single fall. Like, I don't think she ever did when we lived in Texas, but once we started moving to the this side of the country, when we lived in Georgia, when we lived in Alabama, when we lived in Indiana and here, she just gets really itchy in fall. And so we kind of waited it out to see a lot of times it just goes away on its own, but she's just been struggling a little bit more than normal. Usually she's itchy for a few weeks and then she's okay, but it's just been going on for a while. So we took her to the vet, David took her to the vet and they said, they see lots of dogs with this and it's just a fall allergy. And they're like, next time, if you guys want to bring her in in like August, like right before fall gets here, we can give her a steroid shot and then hopefully she won't have that reaction. But basically other than that, we just have to wait it out. They did go ahead and give her a steroid shot to help some of the symptoms. And honestly, over the last week, of course, since we made the vet appointment, she's been doing a lot better. So I think it's just, you know, one of those things they said, once the cold starts happening, usually it goes away. And that's kind of what we're getting into. Although it's back to being warm now. My kids went to school with shorts on, so you just never know. But she seems to be doing fine. They went ahead and took some blood just to check for like heartworms, making sure that's okay. Um, and we got her some more heartworm medicine because we were out. And that was it. They She got a steroid shot and she came home. Um, they said that today she's probably gonna be really hungry and <laughs> have to go to the bathroom a lot. Which is so funny because aren't we all really hungry when we get a steroid shot? It's the worst. Um, so we're going to give her lots of TLC today. Uh, bless her heart. She always gets so nervous when we have to take her to the vet or to the border. She like freaks out, has like a panic attack. But she's back home now, so she's happy. David left for work. And I've just been doing some YouTube stuff. So I got my YouTube video up for tomorrow. I try to do, do that first thing in the morning so it's done for the day. And then I took a nice hot bath, which honestly helped my back a lot. And I washed my hair and blue dry it and it just feels, I don't wash my hair every day. Um, it gets really like frizzy and dry if I do that. But um, the days I do wash my hair, like every few days I wash my hair, it feels so nice to have clean hair. <laughs> so um, today is one of those days and it just, it feels so silky and nice. Um, and when my, when I blow dry my hair, I don't straighten it or anything. Like my hair is naturally really, really straight. Um, so usually I'll wash my hair and then wear it straight. And then like when I'm curling it, usually it's like a second day hair, third day hair, and then I'll wash it again and restart the process. Usually the last day before I wash my hair is like, I just put it up in a ponytail because <laughs> I hate the feeling of dirty hair, but uh, I hate washing my hair every day too. It's so thick. It gets so dried out, especially this time of year. So we do what we can. I put a little bit of BB cream on, did a little bit of, of uh, eyeshadow and mascara and some lip gloss just to feel a little more put together today. Um, I am washing our sheets and our comforter, just freshening that up. And really we're just hanging out at home. It's kind of an overcast, windy day. So we're staying inside for a while. We're just playing, hanging out, me and Mark. Um, you guys come with us today. I'm not sure what all I'm going to do. I'm trying to get some stuff just prep for the week. I mean, we're already on Wednesday, but just, you know, if I, I just find if I do stuff during the day, it makes our evenings better. 
So HelloFresh is supposed to come shortly. I may go ahead and cook up a couple of meals of that. It was very helpful to use HelloFresh as like a meal prep. It really has been helpful. And that way, if David wants a fresh lunch to take to work, or if he's busy at church, like tonight, he'll be home at like nine o'clock. You know, it'll be a very late night for him. So, well, for all of us, but he, we can eat before we leave. He's there all day. So I can have it ready where you can just microwave it. And it's like really yummy TV dinners that are healthy. <laughs> so if it comes, I may, I don't even remember what I got this week, but if it comes, I may prep a couple meals for him. Um, but y'all come hang out with us today. It's going to be, it's going to be a good one. So let's do it. So I just was, I just put the, um, dishwasher, unload the dishwasher. That's the words. <laughs> I have a strict routine with my dishwasher. Every single night we run it, every single morning before we do anything else, I unload it. Well, today we woke up and somehow it didn't get run. I put the soap in it. I thought I pushed the button, but I guess I didn't. And so I, we're kind of delayed and <laughs> that stresses me out because I hate dishes in my sink. My family knows this about me. It doesn't bother me when I visit other people's house and they have dishes in their sink. It is totally this thing with me where I feel like my kitchen's a mess, even if it is a mess. I feel like it's such a mess if I if my dishes are in the sink, it like stresses me out. Um, anyway, so I got that done. I had to report that. But I was just watching this video. I love Jessie over at Jay Wackers. Oh my gosh, I have watched her. We both started YouTube, I think, around the same time. So this is like from old school YouTube. And she's doing such a good job on her channel. And she's just started back to work. And she's trying to balance everything. And I can't even imagine how hard it is. But I love her videos. I always watch every single one. And she was talking about um, sugar and like her with sugar. And she was talking about she has been doing like a healthy lifestyle for the last few weeks in like a weigh-in video, which I've really been enjoying because it's so relatable. But she was talking about like once she has sugar, she can't like just have one cookie because she wants the whole bag. And I just want to say that is so me. I think that some of us can do like a diet in moderation where eat the cookie, you know, have one cookie and stop. Those of us that have like binge eating stuff, problems, addiction problems with food, sugar addiction, I think is totally a thing. We can't just have one cookie because one cookie turns into like 10 cookies and it's not as easy as just stopping. For me, like eating zero cookies is easier than eating one cookie or two cookies, which sounds stupid. <laughs> it sounds like, do you have no self-control? But it's a literally like a drug to us. And I know not everybody understands that, but that is why I think I have struggled so much with like Weight Watchers and counting calories and all this stuff because their whole, their whole thing is you can have whatever you want. You just have to fit it into your day. And I think for a lot of people that works for my brain, it does not work. So, uh, you guys have probably noticed on the vlog, I've been cutting out a lot of sugar and just trying to eat healthier, eat more protein. And I've been feeling really good. And, um, you know, there are days where I'm like, oh, I really miss this food or that food, but I know myself and I know if I let myself have sugar and it's not like I want like a milkshake. Like I, when I would say sugar, it could be anything. It could be like rice. <laughs> Um, it could be like, I will, I get like these certain foods where I'm like, oh, I can't have a cup of rice. I want like five cups of rice, you know, or that may be a bad example, but there are certain foods that are triggers. And I know like if I have this food, it's going to be a dangerous path. And like realizing that about myself has been really hard because I totally wanted moderation to work for me. Um, doesn't everybody like, wouldn't you love to eat whatever you want? But I think that like, as I've talked to you guys about healing, like I really feel like this next year and leading up to this next year, my word is healing. And I feel like I have a lot to heal from a lot of hurts, a lot of emotional baggage, a lot of, um, just feelings like spiritually and mentally feelings of hurt and stuff I need to heal. But also like, this, like, I feel like I need to heal from turning to food 
for emotional comfort. Like for so long, food has been my drug of choice and I feel stressed. I eat something. And so having to process feelings without food is really hard for me. And that may seem stupid, but I think there's a lot of you guys that understand that. Um, and I feel like God wants me to give this part of my life to him too. Like, yes, the hurts, the, the, you know, loneliness, the feelings of rejection I felt this year, the feelings of feeling unseen, the feelings of all the things, you know, I feel like I have a lot to heal from. Um, but this is a big one too. And God cares about every area of our life. And I am so tired of struggling with food and eating. And it's a hard, it's a hard one to do struggle with because you can't just stop eating. You have to do it every day. And so for so long, I have just, you know, gone up, up and down off of, um, all right, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, for so long, I have felt so discouraged because I would lose weight. I would be on a healthy plan. I would fall off the plan. I would blame myself. I would try something different. I mean, this has been for the last 15 years of my life, probably. Um, and I've struggled and I am tired of struggling with it. And I know in some way I will always have to be mindful of this, but I really feel like God wants to bring healing into my life in the area of food in the area of my body, not so I can be like the most skinny person in the world and all of that, because I want to be a certain number. Like I just want to feel healthy. And I just, even if I was perfect with my weight right now, which it's not, I want to lose weight. But even if my weight was perfect right now, I don't like the control that food has over my life. And um, those of you that have struggled with this understand that. And so I just have been processing a lot. And so when she was talking about her like sugar problems and all that, I just thought, yes, like that's the same way I feel. And I, I've talked to other people who feel the same way. I've also talked to other people who are like, I totally don't understand that. I think that everybody is different. And, um, for some people, you know, that's why there's so many different eating plans because everybody is so different, but, um, yeah, it's been something I've been working on for a while and, um, I have not conquered it yet, but I just feel like, you know, no matter what you're struggling with, whether you think it's silly or not, or too big or too small or whatever, like bring it to God because he does care and he does want you to walk in freedom and be the be the version of yourself that he created you to be and not struggle and not, you know, um, have problems like this. Like, I don't want to turn to food when I'm stressed. I don't want to, I, like, I want to turn to God with that. And, you know, food doesn't do anything to help me, which I know that, you know, I know it's just going to make me feel worse, but then why do I do it? <laughs> you know, because we're looking for that temporary moment where we feel better. And I think that's true with so many things, you know, um, everybody has their stuff they struggle with and we all, you know, have a tendency because we are human to, and because, you know, the devil works on, on all of us and uh, sin works on all of us. And it's easy to turn to something else instead of turning to God. And we all, we all do it. Uh, but I've really just been trying to work on that and it's been hard. It's been hard work, but it is definitely going to be worth it. So I'm sitting here drinking a protein shake. I've really been loving doing that. I put like ice in a in this magic bullet, a lot of ice and like a protein shake and blend it up. And it is so good. And it makes me feel good. Number one, and just trying to focus on eating the foods that feel good that aren't going to make me want to eat more. So I thought I would just share that because I feel like all of us struggle, especially going into the holidays, which I'm like, why did you start this right before the holidays? But honestly, if I can do it now <laughs> and in Thanksgiving and in Christmas, if I can keep doing it during this season, then I know I can do it forever. You know, this is a hard time. Everything is about food, but you don't have to make everything about food. You know, you can enjoy the time with your family, enjoy the time with the kids and not make it 
around food, which is what I'm really trying to do. So anyway, I don't know if that was for anybody else or just for me, but I am going to go sit down because it is windy and yucky out. I'm going to wait for the clothes to be ready to turn or the sheets to be ready to get out of the dryer before I have to get up and do that. So. Right, you guys, my HelloFresh box just got here, but I have like less than an hour before the kids start getting home and Mark is asleep. Like he passed out. So I think I'm just going to sit down and read and do this in a little while. But let me show you the meals that we got this week. Sesame soy beef bowls. Anytime there's an Asian bowl, which is about every week, I get one of them because they're so good. And if you have rice pre-cooked, like I always pre-cook rice at the beginning of the week, this is like 10 minutes to throw together. So shredded carrots, buttery rice, and sriracha mayo, sesame soy beef bowls. And then this just looked interesting to me. I don't think we've ever had this one. Creamy chicken sausage and tortellini tortelloni soup with spinach and garlic bread. And then I know Dave, I don't really like pork chops, but I know that David really likes pork chops and I've never gotten this one. So I thought I would do it for him. And then he would have a couple servings of this. It looks really easy to make too, because again, there's rice, peachy keen barbecue rubbed pork chops with lemony green beans and garlic rice. So um, Y'all know we love HelloFresh, but if you've never seen how it comes, everything comes wrapped really well. It's sandwiched between two big ice packs, and we recycle these um, and reuse them, put them in our coolers and stuff. And they keep stuff cold really well. And then all of your individual meals come bagged, ready to go. And then at the very bottom is your protein. So underneath this other ice block, the protein. There's one more down here. So there we go. I'm going to stick all this in the fridge. Layla, oh, watch out. Oh, you almost got hit by a flying fellow fresh. Layla, how are you feeling after your, your long day at the vet? She's been very good. She doesn't feel, I haven't seen her act any different. So I think she's happy. She's good. She wants me to go sit down and cuddle her. I think I'm going to. All right, you guys, I just spent the last hour prepping. Um, well, not quite an hour probably. And I made the kids a pizza, but um, did like a rolled out the dough, made the pizza from like a dough from Aldi. Anyway, this is two out of the three HelloFresh meals. So the Asian bowl, I just packaged the sauce on the side because you don't microwave that part. Um, it looks super good. And then I did the pork chops. It got a little charred, but hopefully it'll still taste good. Um, my pan, I guess, was way too hot, but I am not a professional at cooking pork chops. That's for sure. These are the boneless kinds. So it's more like a pork loin, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to stick these in the fridge. So what I do is I just pop the lid on and then I take one of the wet erase markers and I write what's on it um, and then it washes off in the dishwasher but it helps David to know um, when they're all in the fridge which is which. You guys, it's a little bit smoky in here from those pork chops. Um, I had the pan way lower too than they said. I think my stove runs super hot. Um, I have issues with it all the time. My throat is so dry right now and so sore. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just allergies maybe I feel fine it's just really sore anyway I'm about to pull the kids pizza out of the oven and Lucy and Mark already have baths Nate's in the tub right now and then we're going to get all ready to go to church um, Mark wants tacos and beans so that'll be easy I have just a little bit left over so that'll be perfect and I think I'm going to make I have one more cauliflower crust that I made in the freezer like a turkey pepperoni pizza sounds really good to me since they're having pizza. I think we're gonna have pizza night. And then I just sent a picture update to David of all the food I made so he can decide what he wants to have when he gets home. But he has either pork chops or Asian bowls. And then tomorrow I'll make, what was the other one? The tortellini soup, which to me looks probably the best of all. And what I love about it is I think it's mostly a one pot meal. Does it say one pot? It doesn't say, but I think it is. You do everything in the same pot. Um, so that's awesome. You need a pot and a cutting board. Uh, those, those recipes are so easy to make, all of them. But I like doing it like this too, like the little prep. And then I can clean the kitchen and it's all done. Um, so anyway, Layla's doing really good. She's watching me. She's been in the kitchen with me all day. 
for all afternoon, right? When that pizza comes out, I'll show you guys. The dough from Aldi, you get it like with over with like the cinnamon roll dough or cinnamon rolls in the can, all that. But it comes in like a little, it's like a little dough ball in a bag. But it makes really good pizza. You just roll it out. It's like $1.50 or something. You roll it out, top it with whatever you want. I did half cheese, half pepperoni. And it does not take long at all. Like it's almost ready. So smelling good in here. Um, I'm kind of nervous about church because uh, the pews at the church really hurt my back. There is one section that the ushers sit at. So I may just have to sit back there. <laughs> they don't have very, very many chairs. And I don't want to take up an usher seat. But I'm going to try sitting there tonight. It looks more flat. Also, I am the voice. If you call our church, I am the person that says like, hello, for this person, press two and all that. David got me to do it because <laughs> nobody else wanted to do it. And I love doing stuff like that. And so um, I have to redo it, though, because somebody moved offices and it has to be redone. And so I think like right after worship, me and David are going to run by the office and um, record that really quick so that it'll be fresh and new. And last time I recorded it like on my phone and he just held it up to the phone. So it's like a tiny bit. You can tell there's like a tiny bit of a weird sound because it's coming through a phone. But this time he's like, if you'll just come speak it into the phone, it'll be better. So I need my voice to sound better. And it feels like it's kind of scraggly. So I want to make sure I drink a lot of water. I've been doing that today, but I'm going to keep it up. All right, you guys, here is that pizza. It looks so good. Um, so like I said, you just roll it out. I didn't do it, roll it out completely perfectly, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, and this will feed the kids for a couple, couple meals. So yay, I'm going to let it cool for a little while Nate finishes up his bath. All right, you guys, here's my cauliflower crust, cheese, turkey, pepperoni, and spinach pizza. Looks super good. The edges got a little bit crispy, but that's okay. I don't mind. All right, you guys. So that was delicious. Oh my gosh. It like totally hit the spot. Um, I guess I need to make some more for the freezer now that I'm completely out. It's been several weeks since I made it uh, and I need to do that again, but I don't have any more cauliflower. So it'll have to be maybe next time I go to the store, I can pick up some more. But anyway, we are getting ready for church. I just really put some lipstick on everything else I had already had on and changed my shirt because my shirt was all dirty from cooking and put on some jeans and some shoes. And I'm about to get the kiddos ready to go pack a bag for Nate, make sure he has some books. He does have, um, there's a special needs class tonight, but still it's nice to bring some books or something for him to do if he needs it. Anyway, I'm tired y'all. I have been on my feet working since they got home from school. So everybody had a great day. It's been awesome, but I am looking forward to, I washed, I told you guys I washed my sheets and my comforter. So everything smells so good and so clean. I cannot wait to crawl into bed tonight. I'm like holding out for that. Um, uh, anyway, I'm going to get them ready to go and I will catch you guys back when we get done at church when we get home. All right, all right, guys, we are home from church. It was awesome, but it is so late after church. I had to record the, did I tell you guys that we, we didn't do it after worship because we didn't want to disrupt. I forgot about like having to walk through the youth service to get back to the office. So we just did it after church recording the voicemail for the church. I kept, I did it like three times cause I wasn't happy. Like I felt like I said a few words weird and it's pretty long. So I had to restart. Um, so we got that done and right after church, church went a little bit late too. So it was after nine o'clock by the time we got home, we just got everybody to bed. I'm going to put on my pajamas, take off my makeup. My throat is so sore. Um, the cough drops I found are like the Ricola they're horrible tasting ones, but I want to find my sugar-free Halls ones. That's the ones I like the most. Um, they're like Walmart brand, but they're the knockoffs of the sugar-free. So I'm hoping everybody goes to bed easily tonight because they're wound up. Um, but anyway, that is it for today. I love you. Thank you guys for being here. If you like the vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow. me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody 